Welcome everyone to This Is Jackson. And I am your host, Barry Rosenzweig from the Jackson School District. And today, well, today we are honoring a first, a first for the Elms Elementary School. And well, I've got one of the most wonderful and beautiful classes right with me and they're gonna be part of the day as well, and that is Miss Brenner's second graders. Just wave everybody, wave to that camera over there with Steve, there he is, thank you. So we have Elms Elementary School, the first career day, 2023. Every class is involved where we have parents who have volunteered their time to share with all of our students, Miss Brenner's class as well, their profession that they are working with. And it is fabulous. We've got uh, a, an EMT person. We've got military people. We have the captain of a ferry boat here today as well. We've got a nurse. We've got uh, so many different people. We have a person who works in pharmaceuticals. She was visiting with us today as well. And uh, while I've got the opportunity, I'm going to do this. Students got to see different professions through the various parents who were rotating around different classrooms to share their expertise. And of course, you know, have the students uh, ask questions and everything. So let me do this for a moment. Do you have a favorite person that came to your room today? Um, yes. Okay, and your, your first name is what? Ryan. Okay, Ryan. Who was that person that you really kind of liked for what that person brought? The mayor. The mayor, Mr. Reina. Mr. Reina. Yeah, Mike Reina is our mayor of Jackson. And you enjoyed what he told you about his job? Yes. Pretty big job, huh? Yeah. It is. Can you imagine leading, being the leader of all the thousands of people that live right here in Jackson Township? That's a pretty big job. But he's been doing that for 15 years now. That's what he told me earlier today when I had a chance to speak with him. Thank you, Ryan. That was cool. And your name is? Will. Say it again. Will. Lou. And who was your person that you might like the best today? Um, Mrs. What was his profession? What job did he do? Do you remember? No. You don't remember? Okay. But you liked him. It's a she. Oh, a she. Mm -hmm. And you liked what she did and you enjoyed what she spoke about? Yes. Isn't that wonderful? Mm -hmm. And when you grow up, what would you like to be? A construction worker. Really? Mm -hmm. Pretty cool. Yeah. I like that. I like that. And you're looking forward to it already? Yep. Can we graduate him right to high school? We can. I think he's ready. He's, you're ready. Okay, so after tomorrow, you'll be a high schooler. Okay. <laughs> you didn't even skip a beat on that. That was very cool. And let me do this. Your name is? Jeanette. And Jeanette, um, what did you enjoy today? Did you enjoy any particular person who spoke about their profession? The mayor. The mayor also. Oh, Mr. Rena really made a hit today here, huh? You guys uh, really like, well, you know what? Mr. Rena is a very nice person and a very hardworking person. Do you think you would enjoy a job as big as that? You think you could do it, huh? Uh-huh. I think you could too. Excellent. But it is wonderful. And Ms. Brenner, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I just wanna move my cable here. Come on down just a, sure, a teeny bit. Sure. Excuse me. Yeah. I was told by so many, so many people today and uh, that 
they are enjoyed. They enjoyed giving of their time and everything to come and visit with the classrooms. Um, did you feel that same enthusiasm and excitement that I felt from the presenters? Oh, absolutely. I, I think there's been a buzz for the past couple of weeks, just even across the building in preparation for today. We were all eager to see who was going to what classrooms, what the professions were. Um, and then the kids really got to also think about what do I want to be when I get older, right? Mm -hmm. And they got to research it, dress up as it. And that was really great in building that enthusiasm. Um, yeah, so it's been great. I think I, I felt that all around. It is a wonderful, wonderful opportunity, students. And I'm looking, of course, I'm behind you, but I'm looking at every one of you here. And ladies and gentlemen, all of the students at this wonderful Elms Elementary School have enjoyed this day immensely. Career Day 2023, the first, but certainly not the last career day at the Elms Elementary School right here in the Jackson School District. Take care, everybody. Wave. Hey, guys. Thank you for being with me, Ms. Brenner's class. Thank you, guys. Thank cool. You. Every project has a main person that is responsible for putting it all together. And this first for Elms Elementary is no different. This is their first career day, 2023, a first for the Elm School, and I'm sure not the last. This has been so exciting today, and the man behind the entire project, Principal Mike Burgos. Mike, wow, this, we, we've been having incredible fun watching the kids and their reactions and then the interviews that we have held of the speakers, the presenters, the parents. They talk about the kids and their wonderful reactions. What a winner. That's what it's all about. Absolutely. Well, I, we are so excited to have this event today. Um, I just wanted to say uh, that your, your, your words are so kind, but I really wanted to give credit where credit is due. We have a team of phenomenal teachers uh, that's part of our climate team, and uh, Career Day is a big piece of that. Uh, so I definitely wanted to compliment um, Mrs. Brenner, my assistant principal, uh, Mr. Levinson, Ms. Conipak, um, and, and the other teachers, Mrs. Paquette, uh, that have really uh, done the hard work behind the scenes to put all this together. So um, we really have a phenomenal staff here, and like you said, Barry, it's all about the kids. Kids. Well, it sure hit home. It, or should I say, you hit a home run. The students were so responsive, respectful, just like your names of your streets being respectful and responsible and just attentive. And they were fabulous. And every presenter was thrilled to be here today. Thanks for, thank you and all the members of the staff and even uh, Assistant Principal uh, Levinson for just putting it together and it, it, it's wonderful. Absolutely. Uh, it, it really, for our first one, it went better than we had anticipated. And uh, our goal was really to try to make a connection and try to make school meaningful, you know, because students this young don't always understand that they're laying the foundation for the trajectory of their career. Um, so that was our goal today is try to make that connection and, um, and you know, see what uh, their hard work will be down the road, you know, but with, with the role models that are their parents for the most part. So it was wonderful to have such a great turnout and uh, we are, we'll definitely be doing this again. Well, I surely hope so because it was great. And I love the additional aspect where every student in every classroom wrote about what they want to be. When I grow up, I want to be, or thoughts about the future. To make students think beyond the classroom, outside the box of a school, you know, we, we get them in here. Sure, they do the arithmetic, they do the academics. Sure, that's, that's part of their work, 
learning as a student, but just to make them think beyond that for the future, 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, and beyond, what am I going to do with my life? You set up that opportunity. Thank you for the kind words again. You know, the, the students are really our, our, our future of tomorrow, and uh, yeah. any, any, any way that we could support them along the way, you know, is a great thing. It surely is wonderful, and I thank you as a former educator, now retired, but as a grandparent and a parent and a great grandparent now, by the way. I have two great grandchildren. Yep. Thank you. It's fabulous. But I think about them a lot, my grandchildren and my great grandchildren. And when I see the kind of opportunity you gave and provided for these young, beautiful young children right here at the Elms Elementary School. I, I, I get very emotional, I'm sorry. I, I, I'm not sorry for the tears because they're tears of joy that you are in the position of principal to be able to bring a joyous day like this to fruition. Mike Burgos, you're the best, and your staff, and your children, and you parents. Thank you, parents of the Elms children. Not just the parents that participated today to share their professions, but thank you, parents, for having children that are so respectful and really make us so proud that we have them here at the Elm School under the tutelage of Principal Mike Burgos. What a day. Thank you, Barry. And thank you for everything. It. Thank you for the kind words. So we've been at the Elm School today, visiting and enjoying, watching the interaction of parents sharing their professions and the children with their fabulous, fabulous questions. And again, thank you, Principal Burgos, for making it all happen. Thank you for joining us on Career Day 2023. Appreciate it. I have the pleasure to speak with one of our presenters. And one of our presenters today at the Career Day at Elm School is our own Superintendent of Schools, Ms. Permilli. How are you, Superintendent Permilli? I'm great. Uh, anytime I can be with students, I'm wonderful. I I have to say, I'm smiling ear to ear because for you to take time out of your day, you just said it. Whenever you can, you do it, and you get to be with students. And I think that's just wonderful. And what are some of the thoughts that you shared with the children today about your job being superintendent? Yeah, well, I spoke with the students about the role of superintendent. I actually had them tell me what they thought the role was first. <laughs> and then, um, you know, I explained what the role was. And then I tried to put it in a little perspective for them. We played a little game about how many schools do they think we have, how many elementary, how many middle, how many high school, and could we get, who could get closest to the number of students we have, and put it in perspective about how many students that means that we educate on a daily basis, um, and the decisions we make um, about how, what you learn and how you learn it. So it was exciting. It was great to do a little interactive dialogue with them, get them up and moving, and better understand what the job is. Uh, in comparison, they come to school every day, they think this is it. Um, so getting them to understand the bigger uh, picture was exciting. Wow. And just to get the children to think, that is beautiful. To think about, you know, outside the normal box that they work with, come to school, do your subjects, go home and do your homework, come back to school the next day. You really opened up uh, an extra door for them today, which is so beautiful to see them just react. Did they get excited? Like I get so excited thinking about it. They got excited when they had to guess how many schools, how many students. Yes, absolutely. Yep. Yeah, they were excited. And then a little bit in awe when I said, pull out your, a book from your, your desk put it in front of you and I helped to make the decisions along with your teachers of choosing that book. 
is the one that you learn from. So it was good to bring it back to why they use the things they use and the decisions that are made to educate them. And most of all, I explained to them um, the most important thing that I do is making sure you become the best version of yourself. And that's how we left it. So it was exciting. Looking forward to doing the next couple of sessions. Ladies and gentlemen, our wonderful superintendent of schools, Ms. Permilli, who helps children, all of our children, to be the best that they can be. Sweet. Thank you. Thank you for being you. Thank you for Thank being you. you. Thank you. Classroom really has their children identifying what they want to be. A teacher, an artist, a gardener, football player. There you go. Hairdresser, teacher also, veterinarian, dancer, police officer, baker, and so on. This day and the preparations for it are teaching our children about thinking about the future, getting them involved with thinking about what can I be? What do I love to do? What would I want to do when I graduate from school and go forward with my life as an adult? All these beautiful professions, and we have so many of them represented here today by parents right from the Elm School. I have the pleasure on this career day at the Elms Elementary School to interview our mayor of Jackson Township, Mike Rena. Mike, welcome. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. This is wonderful. I'm so thrilled to see you here. And this is a first for Elm School, the career day, inviting parents in and local persons to share their careers. And you're sharing your career of mayor. Oh, it's, a, it's an honor to be invited. It's an honor to be here, naturally speak to the children and uh, participate in the first uh, career day here at Elms. It's, it's something unique, and I love the fact that they're taking familiar folks such as yourself and all the others are parents that are sharing their particular expertise in life, their work, their passion, their, you know, what they do every day in the work world. And I know that you're being mayor for 15 years, mayor of Jackson? Just started my 15th year, yes. Now that's an amazing career. Plus, you work a separate job differently. Yes, I'm uh, the Ocean County Superintendent of Bridges. Wow, and that in itself is a full-time job. Correct. So you work two jobs, and the mayor is 24-7 because the demands upon your time and all the different jobs that have to come up and different problems that might come up, it, there's no time limit. <laughs> there's no breaks. <laughs> it's the best way to put it. There is no break. We just uh, you know, plug along every day and make sure the public's safe, make sure every services are working and people are getting what they pay for. Well, they are with you, I'll tell you, because you have such a wonderful reputation. I remember over the years, I mean, I've known you all the years you're mayor. We've, we've done shows together before, but yeah. 15 years of expertise. And one of your latest fabulous, um, I'm going to say acquire, but that, is that the right word? When you acquire land was the Rova Farm property. I did a show on Rova Day, which was earlier this year for JTV. What a magnificent project, and you negotiated it. <laughs> well, it was, that, that was the easy part. We found, out the, we found out the land was for sale. We approached the owners. Uh, they told us what they wanted. We knew the value of the land, not so much the cost, but what the value was, the history of Jackson, the history of the Russian uh, population that we have, yeah. the residents, and everything it's gone through from its inception all the way to when they closed their doors. So that was uh, a purchase that was priceless, in my opinion. So well, it was my pleasure to do that. And the 
thousands upon thousands of community persons from little children right up through people <coughs> my age, the more mature seniors here, um, we will be enjoying that property for for the longest time coming for the future Absolutely. now. Absolutely. The purchase was for that, for future generations to enjoy and for that memory to live on. How terrific. It's a wonderful project and another feather in your cap as mayor and for providing properties that can be utilized by the community throughout Jackson Township and their relatives and the, like you say, the generations to come. Open space, open space will always be a priority. We want to keep Jackson as rural and aesthetically pleasing as we can. So preserving land is a priority. And you're at Elm School today. You're going to be in several different classrooms to present yourself as mayor and the job you do. What are some of the highlights that you would like to transmit to the children about the work you do for the township, for the community? Well, making sure all of our children are safe, number one. That's the first priority. They have a place to play, they have a place to grow, mm -hmm. to live, enjoy life, to see how simple life really can be outside a classroom and outside a work environment. We want them to be involved in sports. We want them to be involved physically, mentally engaging one another in open, fresh air. Not the hustle and bustle of the world is going to have in store for them later on. What a great message. And what comes to mind immediately is since you became mayor, we've got that beautiful complex, you know, where the library is, the police uh, uh, state station. Yeah, State-of-the-art sports fields, recreation yep. areas. Again, they're safe. They're for everyone to enjoy, not only the leagues, but keeping the children off the streets and away from the dangers of what's out there, drugs and, and, and you know, the bad, the bad types. We want them to engage themselves, again, in athletic competition, safe and in a controlled environment. And how do you talk to the little ones and and i'm looking at the table right in front of us and we purposely left the table here because we knew we were going to be standing here these are for the youngsters and you know i don't know if uh mayor rena and myself i don't know if we could even get under the table to sit on the that chair <laughs> I, I think i'd i'd hurt my knees just trying to get low enough you're right but to share the mayor's expertise with our children right here at the Elms Elementary. Thank you for doing that. Again, it makes me smile. Here. I can't help but smile. It's really a pleasure to be here. I'm looking forward to engaging the children this morning. Excellent. And we thank you for spending the time with us on JTV and welcome to this day. And uh, thank you for being such a wonderful part of the first career day at elms it's good seeing you again you be well thank you you too 2023 yes same to you thank you one of our speakers today is sam cotino and sam you are emt correct sir and that stands for emergency medical technician always wondered what that meant no <laughs> but you know what emts you guys are first responders we are yep and i know that it takes a great deal of skill, and even more than that, to keep your wits about you no matter what you're facing. That is true. You always have to be ready for everything you encounter, mm -hmm. and you can't panic in that situation because, you know, those people are relying on you to help them. I know that you were just talking uh, to us before we uh, started the camera, and, you know, you dealt with a person that actually had passed away, but you brought them back to life. And how, what, what an experience that is. It was, so I was actually uh, driving home. I had picked up my daughter from school and I noticed that there was someone passed out in their front lawn and their daughter was with them. So I pulled over and asked if they needed help. And she said, yes. At that time, the gentleman was having some difficulty breathing and stuff. And then uh, quickly, shortly after he went into cardiac arrest. So I kind of flipped him over into his back, started doing CPR. Uh, by the time the ambulance got there and stuff, we had what we called ROSC, so his heart was beating again. 
and uh, he came back enough. I think he was alive for 48 hours after that. And the family was just very grateful because they got to have the time to say goodbye to him and stuff. So it was uh, for me, it was a great experience that I was able to at least provide him that, you know, that they were able to say goodbye and get their closure. And you work with Hackensack Meridian, right? And uh, are you stationed uh, nearby or are you, uh, you know, somewhere uh, far away? So I work for Hackensack Meridian, the JFK division. So our uh, my primary office that I work at is up in uh, Edison, New Jersey. But we provide services anywhere from Middlesex County to Monmouth County to Ocean County, where we dispatch ambulances and paramedics for emergencies in those counties. Busy person. Yes, sir. And you found the time as a parent and an EMT to come today for career day. How wonderful. I thank you for doing that. Oh, you're welcome. It was and, my pleasure. Oh, I, and, and we've got some uh, footage of you in the classroom uh, doing your presentation. You um, spoke in several different classrooms today. And my question to you is, you not only enjoyed it, I'm sure, but what was your reaction to the reaction of the students to you and their possible questions? Uh, the reaction was great. I was actually very excited to see how excited they were to learn about the EMS profession. Uh, I had one student in the fourth grade that actually told me when she grows up, she wants to be a paramedic. So that was very exciting, you know, and uh, I was actually quite surprised how much they know about EMS and the emergencies and what EMS comes for uh, and how intrigued they were by all different types of calls and, and things like that. You know, it was really exciting to see their excitement. Well, thanks to you and our other presenters today, we can fire up those synapses in the brain yeah. and get the kids to think beyond what they normally might think about in a school situation. You know, reading, writing, arithmetic, okay, our usual, you know, academic pursuits. But this is beyond their norm of thinking, and it's a great challenge. And they come up and they meet that challenge. Absolutely. I think a lot of times kids don't realize uh, how involved our profession is. You know, they just go based on what they see on TV. The ambulance shows up, picks up the person and takes them to the hospital, which is not the case. There's actually a lot of uh, interventions that EMTs and even more paramedics can do to assist someone out in the field before they even get to the hospital. And you're always training to make sure you're up to date with whatever techniques may come that are new or new ideas in saving people? Absolutely. So there are a certain amount of uh, what we call CEU, so uh, classes and credits that we need to have in order to be able to renew our certification every three years. Oh. And also, you know, you have to keep up to date with new technology that might be out there into, and uh, new ways of doing things to mm -hmm. assist the people out in the field before they even get to the hospital. Amazing. How wonderful to be able to do that and you really um, deal with life and death and you save lives so often it's it's and it's never something that you get used to right the the uh, amazement of it absolutely not so the thing that I love the most about what I do for a living is that you know you're going to go to work and you know where you're going to do but you don't know where you're going to do because every day there's something new, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it's it, that's what makes work exciting. And it's really, uh, for me, a pleasure to be able to assist someone. And when you take someone to the hospital and see how thankful they are that you got them there, or that you came to assist them. Everything, it, may, it makes everything worthwhile. Absolutely. It's beautiful. And I thank you for sharing your expertise and making our kids think about it. And I love the fact that even one girl said she wants to be an EMT as well. It was great. It was my pleasure. It was a great pleasure being here today. Thank you so much. Thank you. Sam Cotino, an EMT right here, a parent with a student in. Oh, how many, how many children do you have at I the have, Elm School? I have one in third grade. One child in third grade. Did you get to see your child today? I did. I did. He, was, he didn't know I was coming. He was very surprised. <laughs> the look on his face was priceless.
even better. Yep. Particular day, the career day. Every classroom has done something with their bulletin board in the hallway outside of their classes regarding work, professions, what the kids want to be. I mean, it's just magnificent that the entire school has been involved with having their children think about and discuss what they might want to be when they grow up. And it really is just fabulous. Here's one of the one of the classroom activity uh, that we wanted to get, making connections about what they want to do, what they're doing on a snowy day, particularly for this class. And we're going to scoot over to another one that works with the different kinds of professions that the kids can be. Lauren Williams, who is working in the field of pharmaceuticals, is one of our parents here today and who has been speaking in the various classes. Tell us about your job first, and then I'm going to ask you, what was your reaction to the children's reaction to you? Sure. So um, I work at Bristol Myers Squibb. I'm a senior global trial manager, and I oversee a trial right now to try and find a cure for Crohn's disease. We're in 26 different countries, and 240 patients have been um, seen or sought out to try this medication all over the course of the world to see if we can cure their Crohn's disease. So um, it's very interesting work and I'm, I'm very excited about the possibility of finding a cure for Crohn's. Um, and then as for your other question, so the children were lovely. Everyone was very excited and, and very receptive to me coming into the room. They were all dressed in their attire as to what they wanted to be when they were older, but they were excited and happy, lots of smiling faces, and they were very attentive um, to what I was reinforcing to them about, you know, making sure that they follow their dreams and their goals and, and they attend college so that they can work in whatever industry they're interested in. You know, you reinforce something that I have known for many years, and I profess to anybody I can speak with. We sometimes don't give our children no matter what their age, enough credit for being able to think, process, make decisions, and with, with the ability to know what they're talking about, with a sincerity and a good heart behind all of that. And you have given them that opportunity today by sharing what you do around the world to help people get better from Crohn's disease at this point with that particular you know, medication. And did they have questions for you? Oh yeah, it's tons that's, of questions. That's where I'm heading because yeah. that's the kind of reaction I know that's inside a child and it doesn't matter what their age, kindergarten, fifth grade, doesn't matter. They have the ability to think. Yep. They sure do. Get those synapses firing up there. They can do anything. One of the classrooms I actually attended was learning um, specifically about biology in their uh, spelling words and as well as defining those words. So one of the other words they had was neurobiology, if I recall correctly, where I was in awe that they were learning about these things right now as I was speaking to them even about the different therapeutic areas that you know companies like myself and others work in. So they were ahead of the game even before I got there. They're very intelligent kids lots of great questions and and they have lots of great ideas on what they want to be when they're older and all different aspects of life so you're right we, we don't give them enough credit but today I think that they were able to really express themselves and ask questions about the potential for their future so I think this was a wonderful opportunity for all I, I agree with you 100% and this is the first time a first for the Elm School to have career day and you, Lauren Williams, are a part of it. 
and it really makes a difference. I mean, you might, did you see your own children, I by did. the way? So I was very fortunate. My son is in fourth grade and I had his second, um, he was the second class I went to. And I'm, I'm very grateful still for the opportunity that my youngest child still wants me around. He was very happy to see me and he knew I was coming. He was quite excited. The other two older ones don't want anything to do with me. So I'm very grateful that the younger one still does. And he really enjoyed himself and he loved raising his hand for questions that he knew about me and and he's like, that's my mom. That's my mom. So I'm honored to be here today. Thank you very much. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> and we thank you for being a part of it. Lauren Williams representing the pharmaceutical field with Bristol Meyer Squibb. Bristol Meyer Squibb. I have the pleasure of being with one of our presenters right now. Not just a presenter, but a parent as well coming in uh, during her busy day, and that is Natalie Nogales. And it is a pleasure a to pleasure. be with you. It's a pleasure to be here. I'm glad you guys have me here. You know, we, well, we are thrilled, and I know the children just learn so much by your sharing your experiences in the business world and with your profession, but you have more than one profession. So talk to me about your work that you do, all the different kind of work. Okay, so I am, I graduated nursing school when I was about 22 years old. I've been a nurse since. When COVID hit, I actually stopped being a nurse because I had another baby. Um, now I have three babies in total, so I've taken a break from nursing. I am a realtor, so I help people buy and sell their homes. And I am also a part business owner with my husband. We own tractor trailers and we own tow trucks. So we help people all over with a lot of things. That is amazing. So varied, your skills, career thoughts, and opportunities are just everywhere. Yes. And you're good at everything. Yes, I, I try. I try to be good at everything. Um, Life is very busy, very busy. So right. it's either I'm selling houses or helping people buy houses and I'm all over New Jersey or I'm helping my husband with the tow trucks or the tractor trailers, setting everything up for the halls. So I'm constantly busy. And then I have my three little ones. So they're work on their own. <laughs> with most people, just having three children would be enough enough that's it no for you it says that's a starting point yeah. I, I do it for them I do, we do it for our kids my husband and I you know he's a very successful business owner and I help him with whatever I can so and we do it for our kids I mean we've been together since we were 17 we started really young um, and we tried to create a life better than what we had growing up for our children you know what that alone is magnificent thank you, thank you. that is the dream yeah. that most people have and not always get to. That's true. That's true. You know, to, for, to in other words, they don't bring it to fruition. Yeah. You have. It, it's been hard. It's been very hard. Um, a lot of blood, sweat, and tears, but um, we've been able to, thank God, um, create something that if, God forbid, one of us is ever missing one day, our kids are going to be okay. Our kids are going to be okay. <laughs> I'm sure they will be because they have your enthusiasm, I'm sure. I hope so. <laughs> and your wonderful ability to be creative in all the kinds of work that you do. Yeah, I mean, I, not just for my kids, but like for the, what I'm trying to teach all the kids today is that, you know, you don't have to settle for one thing. So you don't have to just be one thing I mean if you can be more than one thing and that's what you like go ahead I mean it's hard but if you learn to juggle things the correct way you'll be able to do it so nothing's impossible say that one more time nothing is impossible nothing is impossible that's the secret of success in life in all of life yes. and you have helped to transmit that to the children you have spoken to today, and of course, your own children at home. Natalie Nogales, you're wonderful. Thank you Thank for you. sharing. Thank you so much. Thank oh, you. my Thank goodness. You. Natalie Nogales. Thank you for being with us today on This Is 
Jackson. We've been visiting the Elms Elementary School. I'm out front right now as we are ready to leave today. What a beautiful day with all of the presenters who were parents as well here at the school. What a fantastic display and array of uh, varieties of professions that the children got a chance to hear about and learn about. Right from our own mayor, uh, Mike Rena, all the way through nurses and doctors and uh, ferry boat captain and EMTs and nurses and uh, so many others. Uh, we had a pharmaceutical person as well. Lots of different people, different professions, and they were more than happy to share their expertise with us and all of the students here at the Elms Elementary. So we'll see you next time on This is Jackson, Elms Career Day.